Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday today. Yesterday, we just kind of had a lazy day. Michael had the day off so that we could all relax after the whole ER ordeal. Um, Oakley's like back to her normal self. I'm not exactly sure what was going on. Um, my dad, when I told him about it, he was mentioning when he was a kid, he would get something similar and they found out that it was a stomach migraine. So it's something that I'll talk to her doctor about if it happens again. And um, we're hoping it's kind of an isolated incident, but she seems to be back to normal. So today, um, we have a few chores planned and a few fun things planned. Um, I have a to-do list started and then... Um, we're going to walk up to the school. It's just up the hill from our house. Um, and we're going to pick up school lunch. They're doing that. I think this is the last week until school starts back up. Um, it's a lunch program that's free for every kid in the community ages um, 1 through 8 or eight, 18. And so we go up there and we get lunches um, even though we're homeschooled. So it doesn't matter if you're homeschooled or in public school. So we're going to do that. And then um, this afternoon, we're going to meet up with our friends again at the library. We've been meeting every Wednesday just to kind of say hello and let the kids play. And then um, the mom and I, you know, we just chit chat. So um, those are the fun things that we have going on. And then I have a lot of cleaning that I want to catch up on. So um, let me show you guys what's on my to-do list. All right, my to-do list for today, a little bit long and I'm not expecting to get to everything on the list, but for sure I need to return my library books and the video game that we checked out. Um, I need to make my menu and like grocery list. I started this last night and I think I'm almost done with it. Um, I need to deep clean the bathroom. I need to start crock the crock pot meal today. Um, I need to dust and mop. And then these are my two, like, maybe I'll get to it, maybe not. Um, I want to decorate the school area um, with all the stuff that I bought this past weekend. And then I also need to hill my potatoes, and I thought I would show you guys how I do that. I could never figure out why the walls are always so dirty. This explains a lot, huh? <laughs> So since I talked last, we've slowly been getting some things done. Well, I have been. The kids have been playing with Play-Doh and Legos and Lincoln Logs. They've just kind of been keeping themselves busy, which is nice. I actually just listened to a podcast. This last week, I've been listening to a couple different ones, and it was talking about, like, letting your children be bored and, like, the importance of it. And so I've been trying to be better about, like, giving them suggestions, but, like, not always being there, like, to hold their hand and be like, here, you can play with this, and we can do this. Like, it's okay to play pay, play by themselves. So um, that's kind of nice, and it's something I need to learn because, I don't know, I'm really bad about it, like, always wanting them to have, like, all this fun when they can create fun themselves. So they've been creating little towns with their Lincoln Logs, and we made cars with their Legos, and then Oakley made the cutest little pumpkin. I'll add that clip in there. And so while they were doing that, I had a moment and I got the uh, dinner in the crock pot. Um, it doesn't look pretty at all. It actually looks kind of gross, but it smells really good. It's French onion pork chops. Um, I got the recipe off of Pinterest, but there was a list of ingredients and no directions. So I'll link what I found and then I just kind of made it up for myself. But I'll show you guys really quick what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's not pretty, but it's going to sit for the next five hours or eight hours, actually. It already smells super good. And then whatever juices are left in the crock pot, I will make into a gravy. So right now we're getting ready to walk up to the school. Um, it's kind of chilly out and gloomy, so I had to put a sweater on. Um, I just need to do Oakley's hair. She just got dressed. So I'm going to do her hair, and then we're going to walk up to the school to get some lunch.
Okay, so we're back and the kids are sitting at the table eating lunch. As you saw, they are having cheeseburgers, carrots, and pear slices. Um, that was the lunch that was provided from the school. And while we were up there, we saw one of our friends. She was there with her kids and her babysitting kids getting lunch. And so on the way back, uh, we kind of moseyed along and let the kids play for a bit. So it's a little bit later now. Um, it's a little past 12, and so once the kids are done eating, I want to get them to have some quiet time because um, we need to be leaving here around 1.15ish to walk down to the library. We're meeting up our friend, with our friends to do like a play date at the library, return some books, and check out some new ones. So while they're being quiet, I'm going to clean up the kitchen. Um, it's kind of messy from putting that crock pot meal together, and then I'm going to get all the dusting, um, vacuuming, sweeping, and mopping done while they're napping. All right, it's a little after one and we are heading down to the library. Oakley is really excited um, because she gets to play with her friends. The librarian's daughter actually used to go to kindergarten with her when she was in public school. So she's there on Wednesday. So they're going to play and then we have a couple other friends coming to play. And so we'll probably be there for a couple hours. Um, and yeah, it'll be fun. I'll find a book to read, maybe another cookbook or something. Mm -hmm. Well, we've read that one before. We just made it back from the library and the kids had a blast. We were there for a long time. It's like 4.30 right now. Um, they got a big stack of books that they checked out. They got to play with their friends and pick their uh, summer reading program prizes. Barrett's in the bath now. Oakley's just kind of hanging out reading one of the books that she got to pick. And I wanted to show you really quick what comes on the receipt when you check out the books. I thought it was kind of interesting. So on the list, it's a whole list of every book that we've checked out and when they're due back. But at the bottom, it tells you if you were to purchase all of these books, how much it would have cost. It would have cost me $166.75 to buy all these books brand new, which is crazy. I would never spend that much, but it's just kind of interesting to see, um, you know, what you're saving by checking out some books for free. So the most exciting thing just happened. I've talked about this before, how the chickens have like a nest box where they're supposed to lay their eggs and they never do. But I just came out here and I'll show you what I found. You guys ready? Look at this. All of the eggs have been laid in the actual nest box. This hasn't happened and I don't think this has ever happened. Um, I'm really excited. We had noticed that some of the chickens had been laying over here and so I came in and cleaned out their coop really, really good. Left a lot of um, pine shavings or cedar shavings, whatever those are. And they laid all their eggs here today. So hopefully this is the beginning of something new. Also, while I'm outside, I just wanted to show you guys my cantaloupe. On this whole huge plant, I only have one cantaloupe, but it's going to be worth it. We're really excited. This is the first time we've ever grown a melon like this. It's almost six o'clock and everybody is starving. I'm like ready to eat right now. So dinner's going to be super simple. I have that crock pot with the pork and the excuse me, I have the hiccups, with the pork, the onions, and then all the juice that it's created. I'm gonna take that juice and make some gravy. And then I was gonna do mashed potatoes, but I don't have any potatoes since I haven't been shopping in so long. But I do have some potato pierogies that I made um, a couple months back, and I figured I would fry some of those up. And then I also have some broccoli in the steamer. 
All right, these are my pierogies. I only have like 10 or 12 left. Um, and I made these, I want to say back in April. So they've been in there a while, but they're fine. So what you do is you keep them frozen and you put them in boiling water. Once the pierogies um, float to the top, then they're done. And the next step is to fry them in a cast iron pan with uh, bacon fat. So this is the pork dish. Still not super pretty looking, but it smells really good. So what I did is I took the juice from the bottom and I just ladled it over into this uh, little dish. And I'm going to make this into a gravy and then we can serve it with the um, pork and the pierogies. Now, this isn't normally how I would serve pierogies. Normally we do um, fried pierogies with sour cream and green onions or chives. Um, but I feel I still think this will be just as delicious. So dinner is definitely not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but it smells delicious. And I'm guessing that it's gonna be delicious. So we all three have the same plates and I'll dish one up for Michael when he gets home. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think of dinner? Mm, this and this. One thumbs up and one eh. What do you not like about it? I don't like the onions. But you like the pork? And you like the pierogi? And the broccoli? Okay, good. But not the stand. I know, it's kind of chewy. Okay, finish up your pork so you can have another pierogi. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we just finished dinner and everybody loved it. Everybody had seconds, which I was really surprised about. So now the true test is for Michael to try it when he gets home. But while we wait for Michael to come home, I told the kids they could each choose two library books for me to read that we picked out today. You guys got your choices? Mm -hmm. Can you read that one All right, first? let's show them. Let me flip this camera around. Okay, Oakley Trip chose You Don't Want a Dragon. Barrett chose The Tale of Rabbit and Coyote. Oakley chose Duck, Duck, oh, Ducks, Ducks, Ducks. And Barrett chose No, No, Gnome. That one looks cute. So we're going to read for a little bit. And then I think we're going to have some dessert. I think, what did you ask for, for dessert? Do you remember? Um, There's this kind of like peanut butter bread. Peanut and, butter bread. Yep, yummy. And he likes it. So we're going to have some of that peanut butter bread for dessert here in a little bit yeah, um, after we read. All right, it is currently 8.45, I think, and we just put the kids to bed. Michael hopped in the shower. It ended up being a later night than I thought because Michael came home and said he had a surprise for me, and he took me out to his truck, and he showed me that he picked up a new rug. So I'll make sure you guys what that looks like. All right, here it is. It's very similar to our last one. It's got more, it's hard to see in this lighting because it's getting late, but it's got more of like a cream color to it. So we just spent the last like hour and a half moving the couch out and laying down the new rug. All right, so while he's in the shower, he asked if I would find a movie for us to watch. So I'm gonna hop on, see if there's something new, something that we haven't seen. And that's the end of the video for today. I just wanted to say thank you guys for tagging along today and I'll see you on the next one.